Hi everyone, welcome back to beauty.com. Again, this is Chris. So today I'm going to help you out in choosing the right brushes for you if you wanted to build up your MAC eyeshadow brushes. We all know that MAC got like tons of eye brushes, so basically you need the basic ones first if you wanted to start off with your collection. So I'm going to show you the four basic or four essential brushes that you would, well, um, you definitely want to have in your collection first. So let's start with MAC 239. So this is what it actually looks like. Or this is their flat shader brush. Then you can see that. Uh, that's MAC 239. Okay. So yeah, that's what it actually looks like. And um, this is actually good for patting the eyeshadows on your lid or applying the highlight on your eyebrow or under your eyebrow. It's also good for applying uh, eyeshadow on your inner tear duct or your inner corner of your eyes. It's also good for applying eyeshadow underneath your lower lashes. So actually this brush is a multitasking brush so definitely it's a must. The second brush that I'm going to show you is MAC 224. This is what it actually looks like. And this is a blending brush. It's a soft blending brush. As you can see, it's really, really soft. And um, it's actually good for your crease, for creating your crease, and for your highlight as well. And it's really, really a good brush, especially if you wanted to create like a washed out color for your eyeshadow because this one is really, really soft, so it can actually create that look. Really good for smoky look also. Um, actually, these two brushes here, the 239 and the 224, if you're like more of like a simple girl, but you don't like to have lots of dramas on your eyes or on your makeup, you just like want to have a simple lid color and crease color, I think these two brushes will do. But if you wanted to create more dramas, I guess you have to purchase the four that I'm going to show you. I mean, the rest that I'm going to show you. So this is the third one. This is the Max 217. This is what it actually looks like. This is also a dome brush. And it's a stiffer, stiffer one. It's stiff dome brush. Compared with the 224, so you can see they're both dome. But as you can see, um... The 224 is quite longer than this one, the 217. Um, aside from it being soft, this one is kind of like more rounder on the top. So you can see that one. And this one is sort of, sort of like this. Okay, this is actually good for creating your crease as well. Also good for more intensity if you wanted to build more intensity on your eyes definitely this brush will do that so you'll have more control on this brush because it's kind of like stiffer and also can be used for your highlight as well really really good brush as well so it's also a must and then the last brush that I'm going to show you is their pencil brush this is what it actually looks like it's a 219 okay and it's in white shade I mean white hair not shade sorry about that it's in white hair here and um, it's stiff. I do have like two more um, pencil brushes, but I think this one's the best among my brushes. And as you can see, it has like a little bit of like something like a pointed. Um, you can see there's a little bit of a point or edge there on top, and it's really good. You know, uh, you can actually apply this one for you can use this for your. Um, underneath your lower lashes, you know, for smudging the colors there. This is actually good for creating the, you know, the shimmers on your inner corner or on, or on your tear duct. This is also good for cutting the crease, you know what I mean? If you wanted, like, more of an artistic look, you wanted to have, like, more of a, you know, um, precise and really cut look, you know, you can use this one. So, yeah. These are the four basic brushes I think you would, you know, probably be needing for your startup kit brush. And um, I'm not saying that you should purchase everything because we all know that MAC brushes are really expensive. So you have to start, you know, building your eyeshadow brushes one by one or one at a time. Like let's say every month you purchase one brush and if you have an extra money, you can buy 
instead of buying another brush why not buy another eyeshadow or blush you know just treat yourself and every month you can purchase one brush you know and then as the months go on or months go by you can actually have your brushes so yeah that would be the review about this one i hope you guys enjoy my review and i'll see you again next time in my next video bye